Uh... So I tried moving my microphone earlier and I didn't like the way it was positioned. So now we're back at square one with my microphone being right here. This is a quick video. I'm going to show you how to do quick things. Oh, tough not. So uh, here's a little quick thing that I wanted to show you. How to make a uh, cell shader basically in uh, Blender. And the easiest way to do it, honestly, because I think all of the YouTube videos that are kind of showing you how to do cell shaders, you know, the ones that are like three hour long video, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like them. So here's like a quick little thing that I kind of, uh, searched around for and I have to actually uh, give credit to I think it was the blend stack exchange exchange that I went on to to find the answer for this I'll put a link to the to the to the post somewhere uh, basically you take a diffuse you throw it into a shader to RGB so that you know this separate separate HSV could actually be read by this thing because if you try to link it on its own it, it just does not work and then you get pink which is uh, cool red 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 is so <laughs> uh, you put diffuse into shader to RGB you turn that into to a separate HSV, in which case you plug the H into an H from a combined HSV, the S into the S, and then you put the V into a color ramp uh, and uh, into the V from the combined HSV. And basically it makes it so that you still get the cell shading part of things. So that when you, know, you obviously, when you mess with the color ramp, you can change the intensity of the shadows. And then afterwards, you're gonna put the color part of the combined HSV into a uh, uh, mix RGB. Uh, and for the second color that you'll put for the mix RGB, you take the flat texture, throw it, and this is what I did. Holy crap. <laughs> this is what I did, um, personally to make my cell shader a little more, like make it pop a little more. Uh, I basically took the flat texture, threw it into a, because the original stack exchange post had a RGB to kind of give it the color that you wanted and make that color also react to the light. But I wanted to make my, you know, texture pop a little bit. I threw the texture instead of an RGB into a saturation node. Um, wait, I think it's a saturation node. Hue and saturation. There you go. I threw that into a hue and saturation node and then plug that into the uh, mix RGB and then plug that into the material output output to give you basically this texture, which if I had not put it into this um, saturator, you kind of get a little more of like, a, it's like an intenser light, you know what I mean? Which is fine if you wanted that intense light, but the original skin tone that I had, that I had drew, drew drawn into the uh texture was darker like the face type dark if you wanted to retain the same color you i just threw in a saturation so that it you know did not look poopoo garbage <laughs> and same thing for the face you know um same node group you don't want to diffuse blah blah blah, 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 blah. and then you know texture into the human saturation you can kind of mess with the values here to get what you want to like value to make it darker lighter what may have you which i actually find is very nice side note i find is very nice for if let's say you're making like anime characters right and you import a model from vroid and you want to just make different skin tones without having to uh do much effort like let's say you wanted to do anything on the skin tone range between like you know african-american to latino right you can literally just start messing with the value to make it lighter darker and what may have you and you kind of get that good range there um you wouldn't really be able to go caucasian because you would want to pen in a caucasian texture and then mess with it but um you know this is really nice for it's a quick way to basically do multiple Detectors, Kawhi Desu Senpai, shut up. But anywho, that's how you make a uh, cell shader, basically, um, in Blender, that will also react to light. Uh, so, you know, if you put in a uh, point or an area or whatever, and you change the color of that point, area, blah, 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 it will react to the color. So, you know, you want intense red, intense red. Uh, you want blue, blue. And I think it's really great. So, you know, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, thank you for watching video. Uh, uh, links do the thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, bye.